Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at a collaboration done with Tom Sachs on the Nike Craft General Purpose shoe, and these are known as the Archives. Let's take a quick sneak peek. another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our amazing merch store today we are going to be talking about the second color scheme in the tom Sachs nike craft collaboration we've done the original color scheme here, which most know as the boring collaboration, you probably saw my Ibiza video on these, uh, but go back, check that video out if you have not already. Today, we are gonna be talking about the archives, which is this kind of beautiful pop of color. We'll do the overview, jump into size and fit on these, and uh, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for size and fit, because I do think that uh, needed some help on the size range of these. Then we'll talk about how I I saw this really fun pop of color and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. All right, so starting with the front of the upper here, we've got different shades of yellow. It's kind of this nice mustardy yellow. And as we get on the uh, upper underneath here where there's some suede texture, it is kind of a goldeny, more brighter pop of yellow. Uh, I felt like these weren't gonna be as bright viewing the images but in hand these are much brighter in tone specifically this part of the sneaker is just super bright uh, as we work our way up we've got meshing on the tongue that's just a nice white color scheme white laces and then we've got accents for the pull tabs here and this bright kind of orangey red tone then we've got nike in black with that swish sign in orange so let's take a look at those details and then we will move along to the side paneling So wrapping around to the side paneling, we've got the swish mark in a nice white color scheme, underlays of that bright pop of yellow. Working our way to the back, we've got Nike uh, nicely debossed in kind of looks like just handwriting the way that the text is for Nike, which I really like. Then we've got another pull tab again in that blood orange color scheme. The interior for the insole has a Nike craft with a swish mark in black, while the insole's color scheme is yellow. Wrapping around to the lateral side again we've got that same white nike swish mark underlays of that bright pop of yellow as we work our way down to the midsole it is in this nice i guess archived color scheme which is giving me kind of an off-white sail uh, but nice a very nice vintage feel the outsole is finished off and completes the shoe in black all right so let's take a look at those final details and then we will talk about the box
All right, so since I didn't really talk about the box, maybe I didn't show the box so much. We do have Nike Craft with the swish mark. It's got this little squiggly mark on top of the swish, which is actually the same writing that you see on the insole of the sneaker. Uh, but I do love that it's kind of quirky. It's got this nice bright orange hue to it, which matches, I feel like, the orange accents of the sneaker quite nicely. Uh, but I've also brought out this lovely OG pair. It's quite dirty actually right now. Um, it's got some Spain on the bottom of it actually, but this was the OG colorway, quite different from the archives, which this was kind of a boring campaign. And talking about the campaign for this, it is creativity is the enemy. So very different. And I guess you could see in the color palette, very different as well. Uh, but one of the key kind of quotes of information on the ad for this was, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And I really kind of love that quotation of how we can do a lot of things in life but it's not really so much what you're doing it's how you actually do it so very inspiring little piece of intel on this sneaker you guys know how i love a good story uh but now let's jump into sizing so i got these in a size seven and a half and i feel like these actually ran a little on the smaller side and these actually just for sizing reference run in woman sizing so again i'm a woman size nine which is equivalent to that men's seven and a half size range i decided to get these and a size eight just to kind of compare the size range and i feel like eight is my perfect fit i do highly recommend going minimum a size by half a size up i do have higher chanera feet so depending on whether or not you have flatter wider feet that could actually differentiate a completely different size range for you but do take that into consideration before deciding which shoe will fit best for you all right, so now let's talk about styling again. Super fun, bright pops of color. I feel like this is gonna be a good transition into fall as well though, just because it is kind of a golden yellow tone. And so for the first look, I wanted to wear khaki pants that were a nice cargo fit. And I wore a sweater with that and a nice khaki colorway for a more kind of monochromatic feel, just to make the shoe more of the standout pop of color. I decided to really mix and match with the color variations of this yellow and the dress was in an abstract pattern it had some of this kind of golden yellow hue to it so I felt like it just matched this to a T final look I decided to wear a jumpsuit or a romper in a khaki color scheme with a brown belt definitely feel like just khakis are probably going to be my go-to with mixing and matching with the sneaker because I think that the golden yellow just goes quite nicely with khaki hues All right, so you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these?
doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $110 and they are currently going between $150 to $210. I know that these bad boys were a little slow to the punch. People weren't so excited about them and then the resale kind of ticked up a bit, which is pretty crazy to see how that just kind of, you know, took a little bit, but who knows, maybe this same thing will happen with this colorway. I'm just not sure that people are as big of a fan just because this is a much easier color scheme to style with. But I'm not hating on this golden color. I like this golden yellow. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification bell to be have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our amazing merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode.